Hey everybody, praise be to God today, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem. So, funny story. I played through the next world in this pack, which is the Midnight Cavern, and I forgot to push the record button. So, it says I'm on level 26, but actually in terms of videos, I'm on level 21. I've already seen these five levels, so unfortunately I won't have blind commentary for this. But honestly, that's okay, because I can still just give my impressions of it. Wow, and Grandma, I, I'll start by saying, everywhere. this world looks gorgeous. It is not the black caves like I thought it would be. Nope, it's the slimy caves, but it's got that beautiful sunken ship blue background. So this first room is kind of tough. It's a very linear room. You've got a single spiral, no way to really swim around them. So you have to just time going into these whirlpools. This is the world that introduces the hinges, and if you cover the, up this door, then you can never enter that room, and the room is filled with goodies. Even though I'm on replay mode with unlimited lives and my score's not counting, I kinda wanna, you know, I kinda wanna show it off. Anyhow. Before we go in there, though, <laughs> Stupid sponge heads. Okay, so that's actually a room we want to go in after we get a sand dollar. Uh, yeah. So this this level's kind of just about luring the sharks before timing uh, jumps into war rules. Yeah, a lot of goodies in that room. You really don't want to miss out on that. So make sure. Uh oh. <laughs> <sighs> Thank goodness I still have lots of peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. Also, I had a game over in this world, as I'm sure not many people are surprised of. So, if my score when I get back is a little lower than it was beforehand, that's why. <laughs> That dumb shark is just keeps moving over the whirlpool. Alright, let's try this room again. Now that we have the sea urchin and the sand dollar. So all things considered, this is pretty simple. Gotta push the pebble downwards. Make sure it doesn't hit an enemy along the way. Because you want to destroy that fish bone. The world, this world does all in all, all things considered, I've, I really like this world. And I think it's definitely better designed than the last one. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, similarly, uh, in the video that didn't record, yeah, guess what, I had totally, completely had to reset for the bonus room. Quite a few times, actually. Oh, that dumb shark is making life miserable for me. I'll come back and get you later. Mmm, birthday cake. I love birthday cake. Make sure you don't hit that hinge by mistake. Yeah, not entering that whirlpool, because as you can see, the sponge head up at top is passing by. One kind of annoying thing about this room is that the, the sharks can be a bit unpredictable and can turn around even when you're not close to them or when they're not hitting the wall. That can be a bit annoying. Alright. This can be a bit problematic. So we want to make sure that the sponge head is out of his way before we go over there. And there are a lot of pearl bags in this room, which is really cool. I like pearl bags. We kind of want to chase him up here. Because if we chase him up here, we can lose him. I will not be able to get that pearl. Yeah, we can do a maneuver. I would definitely want to get that warm doodle. Warm doodles are one of my favorite power-ups. Oh no! 
As you can e even when I am aware of exactly what to do on these levels, I'm still dying a whole bunch. But that was the first level. I really like that level. It's pretty well designed. The, the room on the right less so because the shark can just bite you pretty quickly upon entering if the kelp gate happens to open up. But that is a clever level, and it's totally possible to do without needing bubble bath. It's just a lot of luring the sharks. But I really like that one. Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp feet are everywhere. So kind of the theme of this world is don't push any of the hinges unless you know that, unless you've already gotten their secrets. So we're going to leave this one to start. That, see, uh, that kelp seed we're going to save for later. Let's have a bubble here. Also, yeah, I can't swim up. This is a glitch I had happen last time, but for some reason when I have the bubble, I can't swim up through that. Wham. Gotta get those power-ups. Gotta give me those Koopa coins! Now if we go even farther down, this room is actually really easy. This room is just... It's got a, there's quite a bit of open space for you to swim around in, which I appreciate. Very nice, that. So we're not going to hit any of the hinges. Instead, we're going to take them all the way around here and get the starfish. Because starfish has secrets. Later! No, my bubble! Oh, also, oh, dog on it. One of the one of the annoying things, though, uh, I'm gonna pause just so my warm doodle doesn't run out. So this hinge here, it starts out there. I pushed the hinge when the blowfish was right beneath it. So the hinge pushed into the wall. The blowfish got pushed inside the wall, clipped through it, and came into this passageway over here. It was insane. And I'm really sad that that, that didn't get recorded. That was just a fantastic reaction that I had to it. Oh well, maybe that'll happen again, and I can fake my reaction. Be like, oh, did you see that? Oh, I'm, I'm mad. That's the one thing. I wasn't too upset when I'm like, oh, I didn't record. That's okay, I can just record it later, but like, oh, it was a glorious thing that happened. Uh oh. Uh, sure, leave me alone. 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 No, no, no. Don't go this way. Come on. Oh, you butt. Mm. Should not have saved that kelp seed for last. Yeah, so if you could open up today, uh, that'd be great. Come on, gate. I know you can. Thank you. And that's the second level. I really like the second level. Much, I'd say it's a better design than the first one. A lot of fun. I like how you put in the bubble and the worm doodle power-ups on that. Very nice touch, as well as all the pearl bags. Let's get going! This level, this level, I believe, is the one that uh, caused me to have the game over. So you've got uh, these anglerfish up here that are constantly getting pushed around by these water spouts, which is not super fun. Getting up there at the end is quite the hassle. And this room up here that we're about to enter is also pretty difficult. Because we've got What a Life Squid. Also, one thing I will call you out on, Mandel, uh, this room, I made it so that I couldn't escape. The, there was literally, no, because I pushed certain hinges, there was literally no way for me to get out of this room except to manually hit the quick button. Which I don't appreciate. Anyhow. Given the option, I think I'm gonna go up this way. Alright, what a life's. Oh, come on, don't block me from my worm doodle. Man, these squid are being annoying. Mm -hmm. 
I'm on replay mode, who cares? Yeah, but if I were in this situation and I pushed this hinge back, I would have been trapped in the room. I, I don't really like that. I don't think you should be able to permanently get stuck on a level that you have to manually quit. Maybe that's just me, but that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So maybe, maybe make that change, or maybe that was intentional, I don't know. It might just be a personal preference, but I would say it wasn't great. Oh yeah. This far- Hmm. Okay. So, my first time playing it, I, f I think I may have gotten the sandwich. One of these I felt like was a red herring and that you just couldn't get it no matter what you did. But now that I'm looking at it, I think it's a choice. You can either get the pearl bag, or the pearl box, or you can get the sandwich. As for me, I do love sandwiches, so... I'm gonna try to get the sandwich. Actually, no, we might be able to get both. Okay. I was one- I was kept thinking... Yeah, because you can avoid the danger right here. Beautiful. Just like that. Alright. Never mind. You can totally get all of this stuff on this. Oh no, my bubble bath! Doofenshmirtz! So I ran out of bubble bath. That's... that might be a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Never mind, I was just being a whack with it. Uh, you can totally get both of these prizes in here. You just have to be careful which hinges you push. Never mind. <laughs> I still... I think you should fix the other room. That you can just get stuck in. <laughs> Fine, he's going this way. I'll... The AI in this is actually pretty darn smart, and I don't like it. Normally I'm all about smart AI, but not, not in here. Okay. Now we do the toughest part of the rule, which is trying to get past the anglerfish. Oh shoot. I goofed. I done goofed. Because I'm actually going to leave the room and come back because there are prizes that can occur up at the top of the screen. Hi. Never thought I'd be scared of a blowfish. Hey. Hey. Thank you for being easy to deal with. Alright. Beauty. That's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> that was scary. So now we go this way, get the present, and then we can go the other way, get the birthday cake, and the last piece. Sweet! Also, I was dreading level 24, because level 24 in the original Maze Madness was pretty annoying, but Mandel did a great job fixing it. This level is actually wow, the easiest one in the world by everywhere. a pretty wide margin, I would say. Really, the only tricky part is trying to figure out where each of the whirlpools takes you in here. Because you got the three bad guys here, which is kind of dangerous. But it's really not that bad. You can open up these hinges and uh, just open up a whole lot more space <laughs> on the level. <laughs> <laughs> Opening up the hinges into the walls is good. Oh, I wonder if I could show off being able to... Well, what would happen if I pushed a guy into the wall on this level? That would be interesting. I actually kind of want to see what would happen. Oh, come on. The AI is actually pretty smart on this level. Anyhow, this level's really small. Oh, yeah. That level's just filled with kelp seeds, so there's no reason to not grab the last one in this room. Wow, the squid didn't even say what a life, even though he was right next to me. Oh, there we go. I know that's not what they're actually saying, but it really sounds like it. Okay. So this room is pretty dangerous. It's, div it's divided up into, like, three kind of separate rooms. One that has a crab, which is very dangerous, one that has a squid. It's also... It's less dangerous, because there's more left and right than there is up and down, but... Bottom pathway's not too dangerous. I'm gonna do the upper paths first, just because the crab is a pain in the butt. Because the 
crab, as you can see, scuttles sideways really quickly. I'm also out of bubble bath, which is a problem. Uh, hi, 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 don't close. Alright, now I can't get too close to the anglerfish, or else it will come back around and bite me. Beautiful. Thankfully, this part, the lower part, has enough room to maneuver around that it's not too bad. Very well designed level. I really like that level. That stood out to me as being just very fun and very well done. So, great job on that, Mandel. Just making sure I'm recording this. Yeah, I am. Alright. Last level, level of the Midnight Cavern. This is a pretty fun one, and also, I I failed at wow, getting the bonus from, I think, three times. And you're gonna see why. Alright. So, I'm pretty good at doing this level now. You want to start by going into the left world pool, and you'll come up here. I'm getting these kelp seeds last with the anglerfish. Okay, so here's how it works. There's one purple sea urchin on this level. You need to open this sea urchin gate if you want the bonus level, and then you can open this one to get the extra sandwich. Except there's an extra sandwich in the bonus room, which is right there. Because you swim through this door right into the purple sea urchin gate, you have to be holding right when you enter the room. Otherwise, the game will force you to open that gate and you won't be able to do the bonus room. I did that three times in my original playthrough because I kept having a worm doodle, which is like, okay, rockets you into the room. So, that was fun. Also, there's a refill on bubble bath here, which is very nice. What we want to do is get that spiral shell out. And man, you're being a jerk about the bubble bath, aren't you? What? <laughs> wow, this guy is being actually very intelligent and being like, you're not getting the bubble bath. Nuh uh, no, you're going this way. Oh no. I want the bubble bath. In the on my first playthrough, the blind playthrough, it actually worked out because I ha still had a little bit of leftover bubble bath. I didn't waste it all. All right. Now that that's done, I can open that hatch to kind of make a nice little loop that will help me getting rid of the shark in the future. Let's go. All right. Now that we have the spiral shell, this is where things also get a little tricky. You gotta get past this shark, and you kinda need the bubble bath to do that. Because there's just not enough room to maneuver around him otherwise. However, once you open this room, you can lure him in the room. And then, bada beam, bada boom, do that. All of a sudden, he's now confused. There's a bubble that you can get that's literally free, as long as you don't open that hinge, you're good. Oh, hi there. Also, in this room, you can choose to either get the pearl bag or the worm doodle. For me, it's a no-brainer. Even if I wasn't playing on replay and didn't really care about getting the score, I still want the worm doodle. Getting the extra burst of speed really helps. So if you open this hinge there, you get the pearl bag, and if you open the one down here, you get the worm doodle. And I like getting the worm doodle followed by grabbing the bubble. And the bubble you actually kind of need. I'm gonna save that per uh, that kelp seed in the other room for the end, because you kind of need are supposed to have the bubble to do uh, this part. Well, I guess this part's we can totally do without the bubble, but it helps. You pretty much need the bubble for- I did it again! Fourth time! See that? That always happens. That always happens on this level. Always. Uh, that's annoying. I, I never learn. I never learn. That is literally the fourth time that that happened. Really dumb. That is 100% my fault, though. Holy cow. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, because you can see those anglerfish up there. You can get past them with just bubble bath, but it's not really recommended all that much. I'm just gonna let him eat my sandwich. He needs it more than I do anyways, because I got pearl amounts of sandwiches. That doesn't even make sense, but it does in this game. 
Hey, doofus. Oh, and we got two firecrackers in here. I'm actually gonna grab both firecrackers then. Even though my score doesn't matter. Isn't that just kind of an icing on the cake? Icing on the cake. As I'm explaining, okay, I used to be really stupid, and I did this like four different times, and then I did it another time. <laughs> okay. Wanted to get that balloon. Alright. Hey, Sharky. Go back to Red Lobster. I'm glad you. Re I'm really glad you put a lot of the bonus stuff, like the cotton candy, around. It just makes for memorable playthroughs. Okay. Let's try this again. Also, there's a worm drill in the bonus room, so I'm gonna grab the worm drill as well. I can't believe it, as a kid I used to use the mouse to control Freddy Fish in this. You can do that, but that is not recommended. It is not nearly as nice as the keyboard. Alright, what you're supposed to do, go in for this room, I am holding right. Okay, good. Kind of a dirty trick, making it so that, like, it's really hard to take the bonus room, but... Really? The staff despawn. Not really sure what caused the staff to respawn. Did I really spend that much time getting over here? I feel like I didn't. That's strange. Okay. Anyhow, bonus room opens up. We're about to get our next worm doodle. So this is gonna kind of divide up into two different sections, and we got a sandwich at the end. I love sandwiches. Even though I already have a bunch of them. Man, if only this could have been my actual blind playthrough that got recorded, because then I, my then I would have a lot of actually wait, I think I have six lives. Because I had a game over and then I got a whole bunch of lives from the bonus rooms. Uh, just picking up sandwiches. <laughs> Also, I'm just waiting for a bonus room to be, like, a just giant open, there's like no walls except on the outside, in the center, a single duck. That is it. Either that or a bonus room that's just filled with ducks. One or the other, please. Because clearly the ducks are the funniest and the best out of all of the bonus guys. I really like- okay, I really like what you've done with this tile set, by the way, because I find putting all the gold around is really difficult to do. The editor's not super intuitive in a lot of different ways, which is why I had to make a tutorial on it. But boy, howdy, you've been doing a great job with it, so... Mad props. Alright. So that's just about it for this one. I've got a cake that I can grab, and I think I will. After all, it's not like I'm gonna waste anything. Because none of this is carrying over to the next world playthrough. Because this is still replay mode. The only thing we'll have to do now is we go this way. Blam! Rock! <laughs> Get bit, and you have a sandwich eaten. That was totally what I planned to do, and bada beam bada boom, that's it. Now before we go on to the next level, actually, I really want to show off exactly what happened with the blowfish here. Wait, 
I'm confused. It was... <laughs> I thought it was this room. I definitely pushed some creature into the vault. I definitely did. Wait, but it couldn't have been this level. Maybe it was the shark. So I kind of have to hope the shark cooperate. Well, no. Forget that. There's a better level to do this on. Actually, a much better level, because... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go back to level 24. Alright. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swim up into this whirlpool. I'm gonna try to push the hinge on the shark. <laughs> Alright, well you know what? It's not the end of the world because I have another hinge to work with. I'll swim up for this side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw that. He clipped through the wall and then bounced out. That's kind of what happened, except because it was one fin, uh, it w he literally just passed her straight through the wall. It was fantastic. Just wanted to show that glitch off. Anyhow, last impressions of the world, I really like that world. That was very well done, except for that one room where that you can get permanently stuck in. I would fix that, but besides that, really well done. I like the hinges, you did a great job with them. Much better than the kelp gates in the last world. Really, really like that. Had a lot of fun, even though I missed the bonus room a whole bunch. That was totally on me, though. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you tune in next time. We're going to World 6, which is called... Wait, wait. I actually have to pull it up. I don't remember. I think it was, like, Dusk Garden, I want to say. But I just want to double check. If I had to guess, that's probably going to... Be... Well, Dusk Garden. First off, let me just double check that. Yep, Dust Garden. So I'm guessing that'll be the World 2 tile set. Really looking forward to that. I love that tile set. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.